Gambling brought plenty of success and disaster as the playoffs launched in the desert city of bright lights and even brighter dreams. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn and you guessed it, this is Rearview Mirror. Friday night in Las Vegas, Grant Infiger showed his hand and claimed the top prize as the Tuckers took on the strip. Pole winner Noah Gregson picked up the stage one win but fell behind due to a cut tire and line violation. Infinger grabbed the lead winning stage two and gaining a tire advantage after a caution on lap 100. The 98 ran with pressure rubber going into the last stretch of the race which saw a whopping three overtimes. At the final restart, Brett Moffitt failed to pick up fuel and Enfinger, sitting in second, surged ahead, winning by .142 seconds. Enfinger was eighth in the playoff standings, but now goes into the second round with a guaranteed first. The 98 was fairly confident about his run. We didn't have a good Ford F-150 yesterday during practice. These guys behind me made it good. Uh, we had the best truck out here. Very, very proud of that. Strategy paid off heavily for the 98 and proved Lady Luck was on Enfinger's side. Temperatures hit 100 degrees Saturday afternoon as the Xfinity Series drivers and the mile and a half track soaked up the sun. But Ross Chastain was feeling the Golden Rays just a little bit more than the others when he led 180 of 200 laps and swept the first two stages. Only his second trip in the number 42 Chip Ganassi racing car, Chastain overcame three restarts in the final 20 laps, earning his first NASCAR Xfinity Series victory. But the regular season champion Justin Allgaier wasn't going down without a fight. A lap 188 restart allowed Chastain to move up and block Allgaier's run into turn one. With five laps left, a five car pileup brought out the caution for the eighth time and forced the number seven to try a desperate run, but it just wasn't enough. Chastain clinched the lead by 1.6 seconds. Post race, Chastain expressed just how shocked he was at the outcome. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm just a watermelon farmer from Florida. I'm not supposed to do that. Wow, thank y'all. Farmer or not, Ross Chastain staked his claim and proved why he deserves the top spot. Before we check in on what the Cuppers were up to, let's check out the Ford Hall fans and the week. Rob Nunnemaker. Brian Nunnemaker. Nick Anderson. And we're the Ford, Ford fans, fans, fans of, of the week. week. Just NASCAR fans, man, we wanted to get elevated so we could see the track. I've been to Vegas since 03, so I've got 15, 16 years worth of camping set up at different tracks here and there. This is first year yeah. camping. First year on the infield. How about that wreck yesterday? Coming right here out of getting into turn one, three wide, did not work. But seeing that unfold, hearing it, it, that was quite an experience from up top. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fame. You could win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. Sunday afternoon, big wrecks and bad luck couldn't stop bad to the bone. Brad Keselowski from going three for three and bringing Team Penske their 500th victory. The number two used pit stops to his advantage in a final restart to close out the race. Several playoff drivers found themselves in a bit of trouble on the slick track. A blown tire from Kevin Harvick roped Eric Jones into the crash, causing both to exit the race early. And Chase Elliott couldn't avoid Jamie McMurray on lap 211 when the number one wrecked in turn four. Both Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch spun out in the grass, but the 18 did surge back to finish seven. The number two led 75 laps and held off a surging Kyle Larson. Keslowski's victory places him one win away from Matt Kenseth on the all-time National Series win board. He also joins the club of 25 other drivers to have three consecutive wins at the cup level. <laughs> Maybe we should start calling Vegas Spin City. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week as the drivers head to the premier short track at Richmond.